All right, what's going on guys? This is Jake and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can translate your content on your Shopify store into other languages. So this is going to be useful if you are receiving or sending a lot of traffic from other countries that aren't in your native language to your store because this is going to help increase the conversion rate from traffic on those countries. So in order to do this, we're first going to Make sure that you have installed the Shopify Translate and Adapt app because this is going to allow us to actually put our translations into the store. So once we've added this to our store here, we need to come over here inside of our store and we're going to open up settings. And for the purpose of this video, I'm going to be translating this product description here, but the process for the entire store is going to be exactly the same, but we're just going to be using this as an example. So I'm going to open up settings here and we're going to come down here to languages. And then this is where we can add a different language into our store here. So if we select add a language, we need to add whatever language we want here to our store. So in this case, I'm just going to add in German and we'll see some details right here. So by default, the store content that we've added, such as our products and pages, are going to require manual translation versus the professional translations here are going to be included for checkout and default content for themes that are built by Shopify. So depending on the theme you're using, you may already have some built-in translations for the languages you're added. And then we can see here lastly that languages will not be visible to customers until they are published. So we're gonna go ahead and add in this language here and we can see that German was added successfully. And now we just need to translate our content and then publish the language. So we're going to now open up the translate and adapt app. And like I said, we're going to be starting out with this product right here. Now we can actually go through and translate all of this different content by opening up any of these different sections. But in this case, we're going to start with this product. So I'm going to open up products here. And we're going to go to this skin toner right here. And we, we can see that we have our English right here. And then if we come up here and select German, we need to edit the translation. So I'm going to click on that right here. And then now we can see we have our English description here on the left. And then we will have our German title and description here on the right and then you can also translate our product options as well so there's a couple ways you can do this you can auto translate it right here using the translate and adapt app and it does allow you to auto translate up to two different languages now there are some limitations with this the first one being that you are limited to two different languages and the second one being that anyone that speaks multiple languages knows that automatic translations tend to be suboptimal because they're normally translated in a very non-native way so it's not going to be super natural to the person whose native language is actually reading it so it is recommended that if you are trying to have the best possible experience for your customers in other languages to get a professional translation and if you're looking to get a professional translation you can use a service here called Nitro, which is a translation service that is done by human professionals. And we're going to take a look at how you can actually use this service right now. So if you click the first link in the description, you'll be brought to Nitro's order form page, which looks like this. And by using the description link, you will get $25 in free translation credits as well. This service is going to be more convenient than using a third party like Fiverr or anything like that, because you can get all of these different language translations here all in one place. And you don't have to worry about hiring specific people to do that. So in order to actually use Nitro for a translation, all you have to do is take the content you want translated. So in this case, I will copy the description and you can put that here in the source text. And you can see that it also supports Google Docs and Google Sheets as well. So if you want, instead of having it translated one description at a time, you could upload a Google Doc with like all of your product descriptions and have this done in bulk in one go, which might save you some admin time on your end. 
But in this case, for the sake of the tutorial, we're just going to do one description at a time. And we can scroll down here and we can see that the source language is going to be automatically detected. And then we can choose our target languages. So in this case, we're going to choose German. Now, if we wanted to actually choose other languages, we could do that as well. So if you wanted to have your store translated to multiple languages, you could say you could have this description or content translated to multiple different languages at once. So if you were saying doing, say, German, French, and Spanish, which is three of the most common languages to have English translated into, you could select those right here. And then we can come down here and add in some comments for the translator so you can describe the content. So in this case, it would just be this is a product description for a skin toner. And if you want, you can also add in relevant images as well to provide additional context for the translator. And this is just going to help to ensure that the translation is as accurate as possible. And then we can come down here to advanced options. So you can choose your product category. And if it doesn't fit one of these specifically right here, we can just keep it at general, which I'll keep it at general for this case here. Then you can choose your tone, so whether you want it to be formal or informal. So I'll go with informal here. And then you can choose a max paragraph length if you want to set that right here. And then lastly, we'll have the expected turnaround time, which is going to be within 2 to 24 hours. And then we can come down here and then just send this off for translation. And once you send it off for translation, you'll see that it's going to be placed here in the queue. And then you'll see it go through these different stages right here. And then once it's completed, we can go ahead and take the translation and paste it into our store. So once you have the completed translation, you can just come back over here and paste it in. And now you'll know that you have a professional translation. And then you can just go ahead and click on save here. So you would just want to go ahead and repeat this process for all of the content you need translated. So whether it's all of your products, all of your different pages, etc., anything that's not automatically translated by your theme, and then just insert the translations into here. Now we're going to go back and we're going to go back into settings and I'm going to show you how you can publish this. So if we come down here to languages, and we can see unpublished languages here. If I were to click publish here, we can see that German has now been published. And if I were to open up the store and we were to take a look at this product here that we just translated. And then now I'm going to change the language to German. We can see that we now have the translated description that we put in right here. So it's pretty easy. It just takes a little bit of time to go through and add in all your translations for your products, pages, etc. But the good thing is once you set it up once, it's going to be done and you'll be good to go. So that's how you can translate your content in your Shopify store. Be sure to check out Nitro by clicking the first link in the description and get your $25 worth of free translation credits. And with that said, if you found this video helpful, be sure to leave it a thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel for more videos and I'll see you guys in another one.